Now, the question I was asking you was, why has there been this decay in batting? That seems to be the one area where Australia's really fallen down. There were no hundreds in the series against India. There were yeah. a few in the test series against Sri Lanka. But there just seems to be this inability to play the long-form test match innings. Yeah, I think also when we think back to selection, I think in the 90s, if we had a young Ricky Ponting, a young Shane Warne or a young Glenn McGrath, we'd pick them. Mm. This guy looks good. Let's throw him in the deep end and see how he goes. So there's brave selections. Now guys like Will Pukowski, who's 20 years old, who's an absolute gun, young player, 20 years old, they didn't pick him when they had the opportunity. I think there's, let's wait and see how they go. And then they wait too long and their form goes like that because you can't be good all the time. You yes. have a form slump. So I think the art of picking someone when they're in form and throwing young kids in at the deep end is the best way. It's Pakistan used to do it all the time as well. Australia, we used to do it. Um, and I think they've lost that art, but also, I think there are too many younger players now looking at IPL, Big Bash, CPL, all the different T20 leagues, and they've lost the art of defence. Because the art of batting is still defence. You have to be able to defend yeah. a ball, otherwise you're going to get bowled or LB. You have to be able to defend. Um, so to me, they're focusing on ramp shots, reverse sweeps, and all this innovation, rather than for what ball to leave and how to defend. You defend your good ball, makes a bowler's bowl something different, which means you're gonna get extra deliveries to hit. Uh, so to me, you know, I think it's, it's just like a young spinner. Why is there no young spinners coming around at the moment? When we were growing up, we were taught to be patient, to bowl ball after ball after ball in the same spot and wear the batsman down. Now they want to, you can't bowl the same ball twice. You gotta bowl six different balls playing 2020. Yeah. So it's a real mindset shift of change of the younger generation coming through. And I also think the younger generation are relying on coaching. They're relying on, they come off the ground, even in first class cricket, a young 18, 19 year old will come off the ground and say, what happened coach, what did I do wrong? Where when we were playing, we knew what we did wrong because we understood the game and you didn't have so many people that you had to justify yourself to. Now there's assistant coaches, coach, bowling coach, batting coach, a coach to coach the coaches you know there's so many different coaches and they're all getting this different information they're all justifying their position um to me i'd like the player to be a judge bowlers for instance mm. the captain now sets the field for the bowlers and not all the time but a lot of instances as a bowler you should know your field and say skip this is this captain should come to you and say what field do you want and you'll say what blah 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 okay good and you might say to the captain hey, what do you think yep great let's go now the bowler goes, what's my field? So they're not, the players, the, the bottom line is the players aren't thinking for themselves. Mm. They're being told a lot. So they're not learning by their mistakes and not learning themselves. They're actually being told all the time what to do.